welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you this IKEA hack. You can use your Cameo or Cricut machine to make the stencils. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. The file format is SVG. If you are using Silhouette Studio, you need the designer or business edition to open SVG files. Now let's begin. For this project, I'm using IKEA's Fitzen Bath Mat. This is a non-slippery mat that is 16 by 24 inches. Adhesive vinyl to make the stencils. Fabric paint, my favorite brand is Tulip. And you will also need decorative trim. The first thing I did was to cut two pieces of trim. I'm going to sew them by hand, but you could also use a sewing machine. This mat can be washed in the washing machine, which is why I recommend sewing the decorative trim. I finished sewing the trim, now I'm going to make the stencils. I'm in Silhouette Studio. If you want, you can use the text tool to make your stencil. For example, hello. If you are going to use the project I share, download the file and open it. Go to File, select the SVG file, align with the center. I create this file so you can cut it in two parts using a 12 by 12 mat. However, if you have a 12 by 24 mat and a roll of vinyl, you can cut it in one pass. Now open the layer panel, hide the last two layers, move this piece slightly to the bottom, send it to cut. I'm using tool 1, the material is vinyl, the action is cut, the tool the auto blade. I'm using the default settings, now click on send. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this piece took 2 minutes. When you are done cutting this piece, go back to the sign, hide this layer, make visible these two layers, send them to cut using the same settings as the last piece. I'm now in Cricut Design Space. Here you can also use the text tool to make your stencil. If you want to use the file I share, download it. Go to upload, upload image, browse, select the file, open, save, select the file, Insert images. I create this file so it can be cut into parts if you are using the 12 by 12 mat. If you are using the 12 by 24 mat and a roll of vinyl, you can cut it in one pass. Hide these two groups. Select everything and click on attach. Now make it. Move this piece slightly to the bottom, continue. Now select the material, vinyl, you will need a fine point blade, then load the mat. When you are done cutting this piece, go back to canvas, hide this group and make visible these layers. Send it to cut using the same settings as the previous piece. Use your favorite cutting machine to make the stencils. With the material inside the leathers. Do the same with the other two pieces. Transfer the stencils using a contact sheet like this one. I got this from the dollar store. 
You could also use transfer tape. Cut the piece you need. Remove the contact sheet. Place it over the stencil. Remove any wrinkles and bubbles. Use the scraper to ensure the stencil has adhered to the contact sheet. Turn over the stencil and pass the scraper all over the area. Remove the backing from the vinyl. I'm going to place the stencils in the position I want. Ensure the stencils are well attached to the fabric mat. Remove the contact sheet or transfer tape. You can reuse these pieces as long as they are still sticky. Fill in the letters with fabric paint and a foam brush. Once you fill the whole piece in, remove the stencil. Remove the stencil pieces inside the leathers. Now I'm going to do the same with the other pieces. I recommend removing the stencil in one way, meaning right to the left or vice versa. As you can see, the result is pretty good. If you are using any of these fabric paints, you can still wash the mat in the washing machine. Use cold water and let it air dry. I hope you like this IKEA hack. I chose this mat because it was the color and the dimensions that I wanted. This is an indoor mat. If you want to learn how to personalize an outdoor mat, check this video. If you make this project, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I love to see it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in a cameo or a cricket, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.